Ending B is the game's worst ending, despite being locked behind the hardest boss. After all your struggling, you get rewarded with a little bit of lore and a large middle finger. First, select the mercenary and play his intro. Choose to become a pickpocket. This gets you steel, witch, yada yada yada. If you've watched my ending D and C videos, you know where I'm going with this. Second, abandon your comrades to get escape plan because you'll need to run from a lot of fights. And third, go drinking and get laid at the brothel. Walk straight north until you are one tile up and one tile left of this patch of grass on the steps, then stop. Press confirm three times. Then, walk over to this corner of the wall and press confirm. Now that you have a mostly full party, equip them with the cursed short swords you picked up. Head into the first library and use your lucky coins on the bookshelves. If you don't get an empty scroll, reset and start over. Once you do get a scroll, pick up the mock-up book and head deeper into the dungeon. Jump down the well in the courtyard, head into the level 3 basement, and save at the crow bed. Now, fight Iron Shakespeare. Steal from him. If you get an empty scroll, reset. If you get the quill, run. With your empty scroll and quill, type in O oh Lord Teach Phase to learn Phase Step. You cannot confirm the OK in the bottom right by pressing Z. Empty scrolls accept keyboard inputs. If you press Z to confirm, it will add a Z to the end of the message. You need to hit Enter, not Z. Head back up the well and kill the priests. With cursed short swords, you can just attack their torso. Loot their bodies for a purifying talisman. Head into the northwest part of the torture chambers and use the mock-up book to enter the backyard. Grab this stick, stand at the bottom of this rubble, and face step up twice. Then step down. You'll probably get attacked by dogs, so use the talk command to throw the stick and attack their torso until they die. Head into the thicket and talk to the north walls to find a way to force yourself through. Look for a darkened patch on the floor and fall through it. On this floor, look around for a katana stuck in the ground and pick it up. You'll get attacked by a ghost, so attack it with your cursed short swords until it dies. You'll get the purified eastern sword afterwards. Equip that to the mercenary. Find another dark spot on the ground, drop down again, and make your way to the top left of this room. You'll find a purple heart. Cut it open. Head south to find the last drop. Head south from here to find the second purple heart. Cut this open too. Break down this door and pick up the Book of Enlightenment. Dodge past or kill the Night Lurch. Then step very specifically on this row of tiles on the bottom of the stairs. Stepping here saves Lagarde. If you open the big door to the north without stepping here, Lagarde dies regardless of how much time you had left. Walk north and brace yourself against the end of this pillar. Face up. Phase. Press confirm, then step down. Follow this path to avoid getting poison on the overworld, then kill this body snatcher. See my guide for how to do it safely. Make sure to loot his corpse. You need his poison dart and can make good use of his trench coat. 
Head into Mahabra City Square, then stand right here, two tiles past the top of the staircase, and phase again. Step to the side to go through the doorway, head inside the Golden Temple, and walk all the way to the end. Cut open the last purple heart, then walk all the way back out to Lagarde's cell. Dodge around the elite guard, talk to Lagarde, and recruit him. Head into the six floor mines and face step past this rubble. Collect the guaranteed explosive vial from here, blow up the rubble, and then head into the mines. Go through the mines and cave dweller village to get to the god of the depths, then climb down into the gauntlet. Head east for a bit. Stand specifically in this corner, face up, then face step nine times. You'll probably run out of mind and maybe even develop panophobia, but that's fine. That's why you hit the brothel and got alcohol. Take three steps down, then one step up so there's now one tile between you and the switch. Then face step up four more times. Hold up and you're now in the final room of the game. You'll need to switch your equipment around a bit. Kahara should equip the trench coat and Ragnvaldr should equip Lagarde's plate armor. Put Kahara's leather armor back on Lagarde. Read the Book of Enlightenment to save, then fight Grogora. On the first turn, Kahara should throw poison dart at his torso, Lagarde should use leg sweep, Ragnvaldr should use war cry, and the Ars should use fast attack. On every extra turn, the Ars should use a light blue vial on a Ragnvaldr. From the second turn onwards, Kahara should attack with the purified eastern sword. Lagarde should either defend or use a light blue vial on Kahara. De Ars and Ragnvaldr should defend. If Ragnvaldr, Kahara, or De Ars got hit by Whispers of Grogoroth, have Lagarde cure them with a purifying talisman on turn two. Repeat this for a few rounds, you'll win the fight and get the ending.